so much Magnus fun in the house we have a brass bubble we have a toad X in titanium we have a king crab in titanium we have a stealth in titanium and we have a zerk rail these all have the zirconium plates um, kind of uh, I don't know I should have been more uh, should have been more um, adventuresome with my my ordering, but I just got so excited and hit send and go and take my money all at once because <laughs> um, because Magnus uh, Magnus sliders seem to be uh, pretty much kind of the cream of the crop, or at least one of the most sought afters in the. EDC community, I've noticed. Um, there's a lot of Magnus heads and, of course, Modus work heads. And um, and then you have all the great China brands that do really cool things as well. And they're all cutting edge as well. I mean, everybody's doing really cool things and lots of room for everybody. But Magnus is definitely um, number one in my book. Um, uh, just great options and... and, and uh, just cool. Um, of course, I say number one in my book, but I say that a lot. But anyways, uh, you know, today and tomorrow, number one, Magnus is, um, this is the Todex. This is like his number one, uh, number one requested, according to him, off his website. We'll just kind of go over a little bit of, uh, like, um, you know, the 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 basic website stuff the totanium tidex has been his most requested slider he's ever had and, he, and um he's got these on his website right now you can get them i uh, gotta go there and click around a bit you'll find them this um length there all of his are length they're 48 millimeters or 1.89 inches long and then the width on them is 30 millimeters by 1.18 inches wide and then the thicknesses vary some of them are um uh, this one is 14.5 millimeters thick, which is a 0.57 inches. And then the weight on the, with the zirconium plates is 80 grams. And if you got the Teflon plates, it would be 62 grams. So little science info for all you nerds out there. Aren't we all? But come on, because science is so cool. But that's... Uh, that's what that looks like. Beautiful. Like his plates are just amazing. Um, and uh, then we do this kind of thing with my sticky, uh, my sticky hands. I'm wiping them off on my pants. Just a little better. There we go. We can let that fall like this. Now listen to this clack. Oh. So satisfying. The brass clack with the bubble. Let's just get into it. Like it still has the satisfaction of it happening. It's not as loud as the titanium, you know? So there's that. That's fantastic. Let's do a comparison with the... Um, the king crab and in, in uh, king crab and titanium here, excellent, excellent, excellent. Let's um, well these two are gonna sound pretty similar. Fantastic. Now if we put these up against the zirconium one, this is the brass rail. Um, hate to say it, I mean this is like uh, I should show these other ones too. So um, these uh, this one is my least favorite. Um, oh, I just got it to go. Um, it's just so thin sometimes and I can't get a grip on it and I sweat and I'm a greasy monster. And, and that, so the zirconium ones really have a nice, 
seal. Like they seal, but it's almost like it doesn't have quite have the snap as the the um the titanium ones in my opinion. So we'll just do a little comparison here for the all you people. Alright, so here's the snappy snap. Very snappy. Now, I mean, more snappy on this one than this one. And then if we compare, let's do uh, all the ones. The ones. So now I'm missing a copper. I didn't get a copper one. I have some on order. We'll do some more of that in a second. So here we go. If we're going to do just the, um, just the, the Zerk. Right. And then if we do a titanium, they all kind of sound the same. Not going to lie. Excellent. Now I hear this one. Oh, great, great, great. They all have the feel, which is great, but they don't, um, they just, just uh, like the, the brass one, I, I noticed just doesn't have quite the, um, the same. I mean, that's just a snap, right? And then you do these two. It's definitely satisfying. It is so satisfying. It's like, I like this one even at work when I, when I can kind of just slide around and I know it's not going to be as loud and I'm talking to customers and stuff like that. I get to talk to customers all day long and gets, uh, gets to be, um, sometimes when, sometimes I need something to keep myself occupied. Otherwise I start to get, uh, I start to get frustrated. I'm not going to lie with, um, it's just talking to people because they don't listen. <laughs> and, uh, and then you're repeating yourself a third time. That's, uh, that's when I start to do this. Because <laughs> they're not listening. Hell yeah. Um, anyways, these are super fantastic. Um, the Todex and the Stealth look pretty, they're pretty similar. Now, I am just not good with the grip thing. I'm going to need to... I think th this one I have better success with, so who knows on the, how long I'll last with the stealth one. I mean, it's cool looking. I got it because it's cool looking, but, um, you know. Should we do some more of this quick science stuff? Like, let's do, um, let's do all of them, like, put together like this. Uh, we got the bubble here. In brass, we have this was the um, Todex. This is the Stealth. This is the um, this is the <clears throat> sorry the Rail, and this is the King Crab, right? And then if we want to start getting out like the Pignola Slider from YEDC, my most watched video at this point. I don't understand why, but here's a um a uh. Mackie Studio CP3. If we want to get a sense here, here's a uh, shuffle. If we want to look at that, I don't know how we're going to magnetize there. There we go. And then what should we do? A pico pick? Why not? A pico pick. Maybe some of you have one of those lying around. Maybe some of you have a reactive shield um, from Wan Wu. Thing like I always do yeah yeah all right so that's that that's gonna be about there I'm not dealing with the magnet situation here here's one of these the pop pop sliders here's a camera so here's um some comparisons there here's the the um fish or the the biscuit version two from um from uh, Black Dog on Etsy. That's a cool one. I like that one. Here's the Loudy X Lock. Here's a Top D. What else we got? What else we got? Oh my goodness. Here's the Rabbit Slider. The Wan Wu. So, I mean, that's like, you know, about how wide they are. Here it is up, up against a, t a donut. You know, if we must, and here's a, here's one of those, the old milk cap. So, 
whatever. That's some comparisons, you know. Um, getting back to um, getting back to the bubble. The bubble, if you must know how thick it really is, is um, eighteen millimeters, and um, and then the weight on that is one thirty two point two grams. So when you compare that to the stealth. Uh, at 97 grams, the stealth is this one, 97 grams, and then you know, like the um, the uh, the titanium ones kind of weigh the same, and then the Zer the brass rail weighed more. And I don't know what happened to my page, and I guess I'm not gonna worry about it. So if you really must know, um. We can get you some more information later. Ask some questions. Go ahead and shoot me some uh, stuff down at the bottom there. You know, make some comments if you feel like having a response. At this stage in the game, you know, I'm responding to everybody because because I'm fifth pocket EDC and. Um, Day. Okay.